Hello everyone. So in this video, we're going to look at the identical polynomials. Okay, so this concept is going to be important for us going forward into the discussion of partial fractions. So it's important to look at them. So when are two polynomials said to be identical? Now, if we have um, a polynomial p of x, you remember this representation, the general form of polynomials, polynomial that is in fp and a polynomial in fq, said that these two polynomials are uh, identical and it is identically equal and it is written this way, p of x is identically equal to q of x. Um, you can also call that equivalent if this condition holds and what does this mean this means that the corresponding coefficients must be equal that means the coefficient of xn in the first uh, polynomial must be equal to the coefficient of xn in the second polynomial and so on and so forth so in typical example if you have a quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c to be identically equal to mx squared plus nx plus say k so what this means is that your a which is a coefficient of x squared here must be equal to m which is a coefficient of x squared on the right hand side and your b must be equal to n and then your c which is a constant must be equal to k which is a constant on the right hand side okay and so there are problems to be solved involving this concept Let's look at this one. Example 1 says, find the values of a and b if 6x is identically equal to this. Okay, so for what values of a and b will you have identical uh, polynomials? Now, there are two methods we are going to apply. And so we'll start with the first method. The first method is straightforward. It says you should just expand what you have on the right-hand side and then compare the coefficients like we did when I introduced. So what do we do here? Just open up these brackets. We get ax plus 2a, then plus uh, bx minus b. Okay, so, and when you do that, you collect like terms, which is going to give us 6x is equivalent to a plus x, sorry, ax plus bx plus 2a minus b. Okay, so I can now factorize. If I do that, I will have a plus b into x and then plus 2a minus b. So now you can see I have all the terms in x on one side and then this one, the constants on one side. So now I can compare both sides. And so on this side, the x term here, the coefficient of x there is 6. What that means is that... Uh, my a plus b which is the coefficient of x on the right hand side must be equal to 6 i can call this equation 1 and then what about this this is a constant and is there a constant on the left hand side yes there is a, a zero constant here so that means my 2a minus b must be equal to what zero and that's equation 2 and so we can solve these two equations simultaneously to get the value of a and b all right and to do that i can use elimination so here i will get 3a this is 0 will be equal to 6 so which implies that my a is equal to 2 dividing both sides by what 3 okay so and i've gotten my a and if i put a into any of these equations i will quickly get that my b is just equal to 6 minus 2 if i put it into equation 1 and that will give me 4 so that's the a and b required and then for the method two so the second method uh, this I, I i i believe is the simplest method to use so what is this method saying you are giving 6x to be equivalent to a into x plus uh, 2 then plus b into x minus 1 this method says that all you need to do is to find a way to eliminate some of the, the, the constants you are asked to find. In this case, you are asked to find A and B. So is there a way I can eliminate one of them and then solve for one? 
and then later maybe eliminate the second one and solve for the previous so and that is a very beautiful approach to use so what do we do here to do this elimination just come into this bracket and find the additive inverse of 2 and make it your x so if i just call my x here if i want to eliminate a now i will just say let my x be equal to minus 2 because i know minus 2 plus 2 is going to give me what zero and so a will go away and then i'll look for b okay so let's do that and remember the substitution must be for everything here so if i put minus 2 here i'll have minus 12 is now equal to and this is going to give me minus 12 is equal to this whole will become 0 and this will be minus 3b therefore my b is equal to what 4 that's dividing both sides by minus 3 and that's the same answer we got here and then you will to get the uh, the second value which is your a then you will now eliminate b by calling your x 1 if i put x as 1 here this b will go so i will now have 6 times 1 is 6 is now equal to if i put 1 here i will have 3a and if i put 1 here i will have 0 therefore my a is equal to 2 okay so with both methods you have gotten your answers to be 2 and uh, 4 right and this is the solution for this uh, problem okay so let's go to example 2 our example 2 here says that if we have this um, polynomial to be equivalent to all of this that we should find the value of a b and c now for these other examples i would like us to use just one method that's the second method which i will advise you in any of these case is a very better method to apply okay so let's go we have 4 x squared plus 4 x minus 26 is uh, equivalent to okay so what should we do here now remember what i said for the second method you will try to eliminate some of the constants now in this case we have three constants to solve for so we can try to eliminate two or one in any case any one that is possible so let's go now if i put x as two here sorry minus two this a will go and c will also go here now but b will remain and so that's a good one so let's start with that for x equal to minus two if we put x as minus two here we will have four that's minus 2 raised to power 2 is 4 times 4 is 16. Then minus 2 times 4 is minus 8. Then minus 26 is now equal to, if you put minus 2 here, you will have uh, 0. And that is a into minus 2 plus 2, minus 2 minus 4. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. So this will go and this will also go. So here we are going to have um, 8 minus 26, which is uh, minus 18, to be equal to, this is going to give us b into, we have minus 6 times minus 3, and this is going to be minus 18 equal to plus 18b. Therefore, our b is simply equal to negative 1. Okay, so we have gotten the value for B. Now, for us to, the next one, we'll try to eliminate B now. Let's say we want to get A. So we'll try to eliminate B. By eliminating B, we'll make here to be plus 1. And if we make here to be plus 1, it will also eliminate C. So that we can find our A. So let's go now. And to eliminate here, so we'll just call our X positive 1. And that's going to give us... 1 squared is 1, so we'll have 4 plus 4 minus 26 is equal to, here you are going to have a into 1 plus 2, then 1 minus 4. So for the other two, I won't bother writing them because they will all turn to zeros. And so here we are just going to have 8 minus 26, which is the minus 18, to be equal to 
here we are going to have a into 3 times minus 3 and that's going to give us minus 18 is equal to minus 9a therefore our a is equal to positive 2 and finally to get our our c we try to eliminate a and b and to eliminate a and b we will just substitute x as positive 4 here and so if we call our x positive 4 we are going to have 4 raised to power 2 is 16 16 times 4 is 64 plus 16 minus 26 is then going to be equal to so here we are going to have a is going to be eliminated and then our uh, b will also be eliminated so we only have c and that will be c into 4 minus 1 and then 4 plus 2 which is going to give us this plus this is equal to 80 80 minus 26 is going to give us uh, 54 so we have 54 is equal to this is 3 3 this is 6 3 times 6 is uh, 18 so we have 18 uh, c so if we divide both sides by 18 now that will give us our c as equal to 3 so our c is simply equal to 3 all right so that's uh, how to you know go about all this so we have gotten our a as 2 b as minus 1 and c as 3 so you can see if we were to use the first method we would have needed to you know expand the whole of this open bracket and compare both sides which would be a very long process all right so we go to example three example three says that uh, we should solve the same thing we should find a b small a b and c if this is identically equal to this so here we have 22 minus Okay, so here we'll try to eliminate and um, uh, we can eliminate uh, these two here, that's B and C, that, that means we want to find A. And to eliminate B and C, we'll just call our X minus 3. So let our X be minus 3. <clears throat> and if that happens, we're going to have 22 minus 3 times this is 12. <clears throat> minus 3 squared is 9 times 2 is minus 18. Is now equal to here we will have a into minus 3 minus 1 squared these two will turn to zeros so no need and so here we have um, we have uh, 16 is equal to this is minus 4 squared and that's 16 a therefore our a is equal to 1 okay so if our a is 1 how do we find our B so for B all we need to do is to try to eliminate a and um, x and the question is can we eliminate a and sorry a and c can we eliminate a and c no there is no number we will choose now to eliminate a and c okay but we can eliminate a and b to get c so let's now take that and to eliminate a and b we will call our x one so for our x to be one we will have 22 minus 4 minus 2 to be equal to this is going to go away because it's going to turn to 0 this one will go away also so here we just have c into 1 plus 3 and that's going to give us um, 22 minus 4 minus this will be 16 equal to 4c therefore our c is equal to 4 all right now we have gotten a and c but by direct substitution here, there is nothing that will eliminate A and C at the same time to give us B. So if you have such a case, what do you do? Then you are going to introduce X as zero. So that's just all you need to do. Introduce your X as zero. And if you introduce X as zero, you are going to get an expression that will contain A, B, and C. 
And since you already have your A and C, you will just substitute those two and then find the value of B. All right, so let's take our X to be zero. And if we do that, if we put it here, we'll have just 22 to be equal to, this is going to be minus one squared because this will be zero minus one. And minus one squared is one times A is A. And here, if you put X as zero, you will have B into minus one times three. Then plus, if you put X as zero here, you will have 3C. And that will give us 22 as A. This is going to be minus 3B, then plus 3C. And what is our A and C? A is 1 minus 3B. What is our C? Our C is 4, and that will give us 12. So if we bring that into this way, we are going to have that uh, 22 is going to subtract all of this. And that will give us 9 is equal to minus 3B. Therefore, our B is simply equal to minus 3. And that's the solution. So our A is 1, our B is minus 3, and our C is positive 4. Okay. And lastly, we have the example here, which says that we should solve for A, B, and C also you know, in these uh, identical equations. And I want to leave this for you as an exercise. Kindly look at it and then um, let's see what you have. And this is where we're going to stop for this video. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and um, comment, like and share our video. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.